breaking news guys latoya forever she is now desperately begging to return to the real house of atlanta she is broke anyway my people if you are coming across my channel for the very first beginning of course i do react to celebrity news training topics so i am going to be reacting to latoya forever so latoya forever guys I wish her nothing but the best in life. She has been going through a lot. Yes, I do like this Jamaican girl. I don't know if she's from Jamaica or Trinidad or Tobago. One and the same thing, Caribbean girls. So Latoya Forever, she has been going through a lot. And at this moment, it seems if you no know, Latoya Forever, she is now begging. It could be that maybe Latoya Forever has got no money. Nobody's sure about that. So anyway, let's start by going through her emotion that has been going through. You know, her grandfather did pass away, you know, so... That's one of, one of the reasons why, you know, I feel very bad for her. You know, nobody deserves to be going what to be going through what Latoya Forever is going through, you know. So Latoya Forever, you know, she is seen on, on she was like seen on social media, you know, like leaving some some messages. It reads out. The days have been up and down for me. Thank you for the ch for checking for checking in. Thank you for your weights of encouragement. The passing of my grandfather has broken me down. But in this in experience I'm building up like never before. Yeah, sorry, Lati. And then she went on saying again, in times like this, you will find out, you know, who really cares about what you are going through in life. Thank you, Lord, for truly opening my eyes to, to who's there for my family and I. Oh, I feel very bad for you, what you are, you have gone through, you know. May your, your grandfather so rest in peace, Lati. We care about you. Take good care of yourself. Life is too short, you know. I pray that, you know, you should find peace, you know. Whoever is not in your, in who, whoever is, is not trying to help you, you know, who's not there for you at this darkest time in your life, Latoya forever, open your eyes, you know. Anyway, so Latoya forever, she... I don't know if it's Latoya forever she's trolling or, or, or whatever she's doing the social media. So anyway, she went on further and was saying that, oh Lord, would you all, excuse me, oh Lord, would you all like to, to see me back on the real house of Atlanta? Question mark. I'm scared. Ooh, LRO. Those women don't play. Oof. Oof. Latoya forever. Anyway, let me continue reading. So then, the house of Atlanta, Andy, br no, bravo, Andy. Hey, boo, let's stop messing around and give Latoya for Latoya a phone call. She still has a tie to the girls, allegedly. Of course, you know, I do vote for Latoya Forever to return back to the real house of Atlanta. Latoya Forever, of course, she is a very, inter she's very entertaining to watch, but it's just that, no, I do believe that she deserves a second chance, guys. You know, everybody in life, they deserve some second chances. You know, just because, you know, the first time that Latoya messed up, you know, does not mean that maybe this second chance that we people are going to give her. I do believe that with the second chance that she's going to get, she is going to use this opportunity wisely. And the other thing that I just want to advise Latoya forever, when you, when you are given the opportunity... Latoya forever. Make sure that you come up with a good storyline, you know. Your baby daddy, he has to become like your storyline, you know. And then at the same time, maybe behind closed door, you have to sit down with you no know, with Adam Ali. I do believe that you no know, Latoya Forever from the very first beginning when she joined, you know, the Real House of Atlanta. I do believe that you no know, nobody tried to advise her, you know, on how to make, you know, like a good storyline. She tried to, to have a good storyline, you know, by using Van of theirs. And that guy, he wasn't like bringing any ratings to her, you know. Maybe that could be one of the reasons why she was like kicked out from the show. So by, do, by you know, for me, I think that if she goes hard, you know, on her baby daddy, she is going to come up, you know, with a good storyline. And then behind, behind closed door, Latoya forever, try to talk with Adam Ali. You have got children together. He's got, I don't think that maybe Adam Ali is a bad person as the way excuse me as the way Latoya forever tried to paint him you know on social media I just believe that you no know, Latoya forever from the very first beginning when she joined the real house of Atlanta she was like trying to become like very messy and she was thinking that maybe by so doing that she was going to be liked you know but she got you know like a very bad negativity they were just like giving her you know like horrible comments so by this time, if the, if she is going to what, conduct herself in a nice way, and then she sit down with Adam Ali and try to tell him that, no, we have got children together. I am doing this show for the sake of creating money for the both of us and our children, you know, because that's how they do this real house, you know, because normally I hear that, you no, know, the men, they don't get paid. So Latoya forever, when you're joined, 
join the show make sure that you talk with adam ali and then you negotiate how much are you going to be to be paying adam ali i do believe by so doing that adam ali he's he's not going to what he's not going to be going on social media bashing you all those things he's going to be happy because you are going to be at the end of the day you are going to be giving him a check that's how they do it latoya forever don't just rush there on what on the real house of atlanta and then you start becoming friends with you know it's like she rubbed me the wrong way you know when she joined you know she was like becoming a friend with what's the other lady the one who's like um, the most paid candy barras those are the type of the people that you are supposed to go you know again it's you know just look at moro she got a pitch and who is she going targeting she is targeting you no know, kenya mo and candy barras why because she knows that you no know, those are the people that are most liked on social media by so doing that you no know, she she is like always you know like steering up you know controversy so the more she creates controversy that's the more you know her check you know is going to keep on coming regardless even if people don't they don't like her but she knows what she's doing and she knows which people are the favorite you no know? she knows already that you no know? kenya mo Candy Barras, they are the most liked real house of Atlanta. So even you, Latoya, forever, when you go this time, don't try to become like a friend with, 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 with Candy Barras or Kenya Mo. Because those people at the end of the day, they are going there to go and make money for their own families. You understand? Look at Ke uh, Kenya Mo. She's not going there on the real house of Atlanta, you know, like to try to become like a friend with, you no know, with Candy Barras, all those things. She's going there to go and make a check for who? For herself and her own child. So that's the same thing that you are supposed to do, even you, Latoya forever. She's very talented, but she's just like, you know, misusing this opportunity. Because I do believe that, you no, know, this, the re, I don't know if it's whatever, the production, they can give Latoya forever a pitch. If she just like, you know, know the, the storyline that she's going to talk about, I do believe. Look at what Drew, when she joined the Real House of Atlanta, everybody was like talking about horrible about her appearance, the clothes, the hair. But what did she do? She never gave up. The second season when she came back, she proved them wrong. She started dressing good. Right now, as I speak to you, Drew, she is always like wearing, you know, I don't know if it's like um, Porsche, uh, Naked by Porsche. I don't know if that's the name of the hair, hairstyle, you know, I don't know, the hair products. Correct me in the comment section. I think Naked something, you know, that's the name of the hair, of Porsche William. So right now you can see that, you no, know, Drew, she is always like creating control, but so even you, Latoya, forever. Please, don't settle for 1K. Huh? Try to, at least you have been in the game. Try to settle maybe, you know, like half a million. Eh? I can understand the reason why Adam Ali, you know, refused, you know, to, to humiliate himself on social media. Who, who, what kind of a man would allow, you know, his, his wife, you know, to be paid 1K, allegedly, if it was true? Anyway, my people, what's your thought? Do you think that maybe Latoya Forever, she needs to be given the opportunity to go and prove herself? Because for me, I do believe that Latoya Forever needs to be given a, a chance, a second chance, so that she should prove us wrong. Anyway, see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more information concerning celebrity news and trending topics. Bye bye, my lovely people.